My statement, if someone would shoot the new abortionist like Scott shot George Tiller, uh, back in the Operation Rescue days, people, pro-lifers called him Tiller the Killer, hardly anyone will appreciate it but the babies. <laughs> That's a very true statement. <laughs> it, it will be a blessing to the babies. Everyone else will panic. Of all places to open up killing office, to reopen the one office in the United States more notorious for decades than any other, is an act of defiance against God and the last remaining remnants of reverence for human life. Absolutely. Very well said. It, Very is, well said. it is what the Supreme Court classifies as fighting words, like throwing lard in a mosque, burning a cross in a black neighborhood, or immersing a cross in urine at taxpayers' expense. Right. It is a reckless act. It is mm. not the act of someone who values their own safety. Very good point. It is a gauntlet thrown down by someone who wants a fight. I but, love it. Of course, I don't know if anyone will pick up the gauntlet. I didn't know Scott would act before he did. Pro-lifers could stop all abortion if they would defend state laws criminalizing abortion, such as recently in Arkansas or North Dakota, with a federal law which says precisely what Roe said must be said for a legal abortion to end. That argument is part of Scott's appeal, but a state attorney general arguing it will be listened to better. But Will pro-lifers act on this opportunity? Will any amica of babies testify? Americans, wow. Americans have the infanticide habit, and habits have proven harder to break, even for Christian pro-lifers, than I had ever imagined. Well, that's great, Dave. That, that's a really, really good piece. I hope they print it, and uh, I've been looking at the Tuskegee Capital Journal and the Kansas City Star at our, at our library here, so hopefully I'll be able to see it get printed in there. Well, I'd like to hear your statement about all oh, about Tiller's uh, place opening and reopening again? Yeah. Well, um, I haven't really, I guess I should have been putting more thought into it, but it is a little bit uh, death-defying, uh, you know, for someone to walk back in there. You know, I think that woman's name is Julie Burkhardt, but um, I call her Julie Darkhart, and uh, to walk in there and reopen a clinic, uh, a, a murder, murder mill where where uh, a man uh, was stopped, um, you know, it's, it's almost like putting a, a target on your back, saying, well, let's see if you can shoot me, <laughs> you know, but, uh, you know, I have to go back to what Mike, Pastor Mike Bray said, you know, if a hundred abortionists were shot, uh, they'd probably go out of business, so uh, I think eight have been shot, so we got 92 to go, and maybe <laughs> she'll be, uh, maybe she'll be number nine, <laughs> I don't, I don't really know, I'm not, I'm not sure about that, but she's, She's kind of painting a, a target on her. Um, I don't know for sure, but it's really a it's a shame and a disgrace to further um, you know to further uh, bring to bring back this again that was once stopped for four years. And the, I hear that the neighborhood has really become very peaceful, and uh, you know now it's going to probably be the turmoil that it that it once was with all the you know, the picking and, and what have you. And, and I really liked your comment about the fact that the little babies are the only ones you're going to appreciate if, the, if it's stopped again, you know. 